Hey guys, so first off, sorry if you can hear any background noise like cars or traffic. It's so hot in here because I've got so many lights on. Um, I've had to open the window behind the curtain, so if you can hear that, I'm sorry. It's like a sauna in here. <laughs> I have a horrible feeling this video might be a little bit long, so I'm going to just cut to the chase. This is my Lush haul of all the stuff that I got at the new Oxford Street Lush store. Um, most of these products I'm going to show you are exclusive to that store. Some of them um, are old products that have been sort of revamped a little bit, so they look and smell a bit different, and others are just completely new, and they might appear online or in other stores eventually, but for right now, they're all just exclusive to Oxford Street. So, there we go. I picked up a total of 69 products, which sounds like a lot, but about 20 of them are these tiny little bath oil things that are like £2 each. I was also lucky enough to get a 50% discount, so I did spend a lot knowing that I'd get 50% off. So yeah, before a few people say, oh, look how much this YouTuber's bought with all their money. Um, there, there are two main reasons as to why I bought so much. Number one, because I really enjoy Lush. It's the one thing I do spend money on. And number two, because I know not all of you can get to Oxford Street in London, so I wanted to share with you guys what is exclusive in a bit more detail than just seeing it in a vlog somewhere. If you do want to check out my vlog of what the store looks like, you can click there. Um, that was quick. Right, okay, this video is going to be long. I will not go into total detail with this stuff. I'll just sort of glance over it because we have a lot to get through. Okay, cool. So first thing is this Lush press bag. Everyone that attended the event got one of these. I'm just going to show you guys what is in here. There's some old stuff, some new stuff, um, some stuff you'll be familiar with and other things you'll be like, oh, whoa, that's, that's, what the hell is that? This is called the Little Dragon Bubble Bar and I actually bought one of these um, before I realised we'd get one in a press bag. So I'll show you what this is later on. This is the Experimental Bath Bomb. Again, like, I pretty much bought everything that is new, so I'll show you that in more detail in a minute. There's this stuff called Uptown Funk Body Spray. I don't know if this is new or not. I would assume it is with the, uh, with the kind of topical title of it. I did see these for sale, but again, like I said, I don't know if they're actually new or not. Cute little lock and unlock buttons. Spray me. It's not really my kind of scent. I don't really like it too much. Bergamot, Sicilian Lemon, Neroli, Ylang Ylang Oil. Yeah, so it's kind of like a sort of deep, musky kind of scent that's got lots of layers to it but it's not sweet it's not fruity it's just i don't know how i'd describe it other than old lady perfume and that sounds so bad because i it's it's not old lady perfume and even if it was old ladies smell nice next we have this which is called the respect your elders hand and body soap i didn't see this in the store so i don't know if this is new i would assume it's new because i haven't seen this in any of the stores but i especially didn't see this uh for sale in lush oxford street so i don't know power of the elderly combined with bergamot buchu and olibanum you just have to listen i don't know what half of those things are actually that smells a lot like comforter it's like got a bit more of a rich scent it's not as fruity as the comforter bubble bar but it's got that sort of berry thing to it like berry undertones that's actually quite nice this is called the damaged hot oil treatment um, I don't know how to use this, but it does say in here. I bought another hot oil treatment that's not the one that's called Damage, so... Ah. So basically, if you've ever heard of, like, hot oil treatment or anything like that, this is, like, solid kind of oil. Um, feels very kind of melty. I don't know how else to put it, but a lot of products that have, like, sheer butter and cocoa butter and stuff, they just melt, like, in your hand, so... I'm gonna just leave this alone now. It doesn't really have a smell to it, but the one I picked up, um, which I can't remember the name of, we'll get to in a minute, smells really nice. I really hope they work because hot oil treatments are so, so good for the hair. They feel so nice. This is a little bag of Lime Pastel Buttercup uh, bath oils. I'll show you, um, I will show you what the bath oils are. They're the things that were like two pound each and there's like loads of different types. That's why my receipt was like a mile long if you saw the picture on Twitter, but um, they're tiny and they smell really, really, really nice. Again, I'll show you uh, what these look like in a minute. Next up, we have some Jersey Bounce shampoo. I used this this morning. I know that Jersey Bounce isn't a new product. I don't know if I've revamped it or what, but it is so, so lovely. I'd never tried it until this morning, but it gives your hair so much volume. It's got lots of sea salt in it. It's got lemon juice in it. It's just really, really, it smells lovely. It's a really, really good cleansing shampoo. I wouldn't recommend using it every single time you wash your hair because it's kind of very cleansing, meaning that it's going to strip out a lot of your oils, but it's genuinely just really really nice so I'm so good at this aren't I? Next up in the press bag we have the Lord of Misrule moisturizing shower cream. Lord of Misrule is usually a bath bomb they do around Halloween. Um, I, I love the smell of the bath bomb but the shower cream I'm not too big a fan of. I actually tried some of this in the shower this morning. This, this bright green, it turns your skin bright green for like two minutes before you wash it all off. It's so scary I thought it was going to stain my skin but no I turned into the Hulk for a while and it was good but it smells kind of it's got like black pepper and uh, patchouli Apparently, I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know, but it's quite a deep, kind of earthy scent. Um, if you want to smell like grass, that's your one. And finally, we have this. This is an Oxford Street hand and body soap. They gave these away in the press bags, and I also bought another one for my mum. Um, these is it's like I think this is like the Monopoly board, isn't it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It says combining the most loved lush fragrances into one unforgettable soap, but. 
I don't know what any of the smells are. It's like lemon and lime up here. Um, but down here it's like vanilla -y, but it's not really sweet. It's not really, it's deep, but it's also got fruity tones. I don't know, someone tell me. Right, so that is what was given away to everyone that attended the event. Firstly, most importantly, if you are a massive Lush fan, you might have been wondering to yourself, why on earth don't Lush do candles? Guess what they now do? I couldn't smell these in the shop because the shop smelled of so many different things. Like, I just couldn't detect any smell, but I bought them hoping that they would have smell when they burnt. But now that I'm out of the store, they smell incredible. This is vanilla brulee. Um, smells of vanilla, believe it or not. Coconut oil, sandalwood oil, Tonga Absolute and vanilla Absolute. That's pretty much it. And it's just absolutely lovely. This is the inhale candle. They do an inhale one and an exhale one. Um, inhale, exhale is a bath bomb they do around springtime. It's like uh, blue and red. I don't know if they did it this year. I know they did it last year. Uh, but this one, I preferred this one. It's, it seemed like a bit deeper. Coconut oil, neroli oil, rose oil, ylang ylang oil, black pepper oil, sandalwood oil, and vetiver oil. Don't know what that is, sorry, I'm awful. But um, anything with sandalwood in it, I pretty much really like. Next up, we have these. Now, I am pretty sure that these are new products. I haven't seen them in any other stores. I know I've seen toothy tabs, but this is tooth powder. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if they're, like, not new. But this one is Tooth Fairy, which is strawberry tooth powder. And this is Ultra Blast, which is a minty one. They had these, uh, they had, like, tester pots out where you could, like smell them and stuff. This one smells of the most gorgeous mint you'll ever have in your life. Peppermint oil, spearmint oil, lavender oil, dried spearmint. Yeah, it's really good. This one, I didn't actually smell, so I'm gonna smell it for the first time now. I don't know if I'm gonna like strawberry toothpaste. Oh, it's certainly like strawberry. It's got glitter in it as well. Why would I want glitter on my teeth? I'm gonna definitely try it out, but um, whew. It's got strawberry extract, uh, lemon oil, it pretty much smells like strawberry and lemon, so so there you go. This is called Bling. These are golden toothy tabs, and these are uh, Brazilian orange oil. So basically, with a toothy tab, if you haven't tried one, it's got a little tiny tablet, and you put it in your teeth, and you sort of grind it up, and then it cleans your... I usually hate them. I've tried them before, but I haven't tried this one. That smells incredible. They smell gorgeous. I love the smell of oranges. Um, so that's perfect. Next up, we have two different types of shower jelly. First up, we have the Refresher Shower Jelly. Um, purely golden in colour. Smells of lemon. Lemon infusion, lemon oil, lemon myrtle oil. Guess what it smells of? Yeah, this one's really, really sweet, but this one that I got... 93,000 miles is not so sweet. I have to be completely honest, I don't really, I'm not looking forward to putting this on my body. Um, it smells very minty and very invigorating. It's like, um, they say like after you've gone for a run, if you're feeling really, really tired, this is supposed to like really spruce you up a little bit. Um, it's made of eucalyptus and mint infusion, peppermint oil, coconut oil, cinnamon leaf oil. So it's all those sort of things that really get into your nose and really sort of clear out your sinuses and just relax your muscles. But it smells really gross. <laughs> it's kind of like Olbus oil, but not as nice. Am I the only person who uses Olbus oil? Probably. Okay, so next up we have two different types of hair treatments. These are called hair dressings. Um, this is called hair custard, and this one is called Giant's Gel. Um, this is the one that I first saw. This is hair custard, and it's like bright yellow in colour. And it smells of custard. It genuinely smells like custard. Oh, it's worth mentioning this one is not vegan. If you are a vegan, this does have um, free range egg white in it. Vanilla pollen infusion, free range egg white, fresh grape juice, fresh strawberry juice, cider vinegar, argan oil. Um, it really, really is lovely. It smells like custard to me. It doesn't smell like the strawberry and all the fruit stuff that they're talking about. It just smells like custard. And this one, uh, Giant's Gel, is supposed to smell of strawberry. Um, I don't smell strawberry in it. Although I was in the store when I smelled it, so... No, it doesn't smell like strawberry, it smells like a hospital. You know when you're in a hospital waiting room and you know it's been full of old people and you get that sort of really weird mixture of like old people and perfume? It's that smell? There's no strawberry in that. Well it says like the first ingredient is fresh strawberry. Um, it's got fine sea salt and then just lots of things in italics which are what I assume is synthetic things. So I'm not sure about this product really. However, it's not all about what they smell like unless obviously you don't want to go around smelling like an old person. But obviously I will review this separately once I've used it and I'll let you guys know if this is worth it or maybe if the custard is better, who knows. Right, I'm gonna move on. Next we're gonna move on to the shower gels. And there are five types of shower gel that I picked up. There were a couple that I didn't pick up because I really didn't like the smell of them. Um, I picked up the things I really thought that you guys would enjoy looking at. This is the Comforter Moisturizing Shower Cream. I hope this is here to stay. Um, sometimes the Lush Kitchen does come for the shower gel which is like a dark berry kind of colour but this is bright pink 
This is just a neon pink. It looks like Snow Fairy. It's not Snow Fairy, um, obviously. It's got the same scent as the Comforter uh, Bubble Bar. You guys will probably know what that is if you're a fan of Lush. Big, rich, fruity, berry kind of softening vanilla kind of smell. Absolutely gorgeous. Haven't tried it out. Blackberry and vanilla infusion. I told you it was berries and vanilla. I didn't even look that up. I just know my scents now. Almond oil, bergamot oil, cypress oil, blah, 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 lots of long things. Smells good. Get it. This one is the Yuzu and Cocoa Moisturizing Shower Cream. I assume this is like the bubble room. Um, it says it smells like chocolate oranges. I did smell it in the store, but obviously, like I said, everything smells different in the store because you're surrounded by all sorts of scents. It doesn't smell too much like chocolate orange to me. I always thought the Prince Charming Shower Gel from Valentine's Day. I always thought that was more like chocolate orange or like Turkish Delight or something. Yuzu infusion, fresh yuzu juice. Yuzu is apparently some sort of fruit. Ugh. Cocoa butter, Tonka Absolute, grapefruit oil, bergamot oil. So it's got those sort of deep notes to it, but you get this sort of real nice hint of like fruit on top of it. You smell like citrus things and then like the deep things come through. So this is really nice. I just love the color of it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Like bright yellow shower gel. I bet that turns my skin bright yellow. I'm gonna look like a Simpson. Next up we have the Lord of Miss Rule shower cream. Um, again, I didn't know that I was gonna get one in the press bag. Um, so I've already reviewed it. Next up we have Wash That Man Right Out Of My Hair Shower Gel. <sighs> Try saying that when you dry. Lavender and Jasmine Infusion, Rose Petal Infusion, and Guava and Fig Juice into this empowering shower gel. So it smells very flowery. It's It's got like sweet notes to it. There's a dog barking outside. You can't have any. Wash that dog right out of my hair. Lush jokes. I didn't really like this too much in store, I just love the colour of it, but now I've got it home, it really is quite nice. I think that's actually one of my favourites. I've never smelled any kind of scent like it from Lush, so good! No repeats of stuff. And finally we have the most gorgeous looking shower gel of them all. This is called Beautiful. Um, it's like yellow, glittery, sort of, it, it's a gel rather than a cream. It's just gorgeous. This basically smells like peaches and apricots. It's not too sweet, you only get like a slight hint of it. But again, this smells better now that I'm here rather than in the store. It is nice, and I am going to look forward to using it. Speaking of showers, I'm going to show you guys a new product from Lush. Um, it's called a soap card, and it looks like this. There are a few designs. There's blue ones and red ones with different song lyrics on. And basically, you take this in the shower, you rip a bit off, and you rub it on yourself, and you're supposed to sing the songs that um, are on the card. This one smells just like general kind of clean stuff. Like, there's no... It's not sweet, it's not deep. It just smells like soap, but... It is really nice. Like I said, you're supposed to... Te oh, look, I'm already tearing it. That's how that's how weak it is. And the good news is, if you tear it too much, you can just squeeze it back together with the moisture on your hand. And it looks brand new. There you go. Aww. Okay, so next up, we're going to move on to the soaps. Um, I picked up quite a few brand new soaps. This one is called Sticky Banana. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness. Please smell like banana. It smells like banana. Oh my god. It smelled kind of like banana in store. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm so glad I got it. It smells of like banana and honey. There's like little bits of honeycomb in here and oh, real banana, soy yogurt and honeycomb chunks. So there you go. It is gorgeous. It's like all the things I like. Soy yogurt, banana <laughs> and honeycomb. Again, I can only presume there's real honey in there so I would assume it's not vegan. Um, but it depends on where you stand with honey. Some people think that honey is vegan, some people think it's not. I should point out they had absolutely tons of new soaps. You can check them out in the vlog that I put a link to earlier on. Um, I filmed a lot of them. Yeah, I prefer liquid soaps. Um, I just find that solid soaps don't really lather up and I don't feel like I'm being cleansed, even though they're natural and they, I am being cleansed. Um, so, not really a big fan of the soaps that Lush do, but they have tons. Check out my vlog, you'll see them all in there. One that I did pick up, though, is called Layer Cake. And it looks like, basically, it's like fruit pastels, basically. It smells of fruit pastels. It just, it's lovely and fruity. There you go. Each layer contains a different fruit juice blended with the fragrance of uplifting orange oil. I did think it smelled a lot like oranges. And this one is a new type of soap. This isn't like a normal sort of soap bar. This is called a cold pressed soap. This type is the Lush Mechanic. And um, let me show you. It's the weirdest thing. This is the first product that I saw when I went into the store. And I picked it up and I was like, oh, you can like squeeze it and stuff. You can literally just squeeze it and shape it. And uh, it looks like a lump of dog poo with a spanner in it, but doesn't smell like it. Funnily enough to me, it smells like Snow Fairy. It really, really smells like Snow Fairy to me. I thought it was Comforter in store. No, it smells like Snow Fairy. Cold pressed pumice and rosemary soap with orris root powder and olive oil base, but it smells really fruity and it's gorgeous. It really does smell absolutely wonderful. It's really weird to have a soap bar that's gonna be like really, really malleable in your hand. Like, look, I'm gonna do this and it's gonna pain a lot of people. That's how easy it is. And look inside, it's all nice and pink, look. Ooh, ooh. I'm 
just going to put that back together now and pretend that I didn't just do that to a gorgeous soap. I assume what else you could do with this, I suppose you could like pick a bit off and just rub your hands with it. Um, I, I can only presume that's what they want people to do with it rather than try and use it like a bar. Um, but yeah, I would really recommend this. They did another one that was green, it was like gardeners something. But it smelt rank, it smelt like grass. Um, so I would love the grass stuff, not me. Next up we have this, this is called Elbow Grease. This is a moisturising bar. This is supposed to be used for people who have just got new tattoos and they need to keep them moisturised. Um, it even says in it why it's tattoo brightening. Um, but it's, it's literally just um, oil. It's extra virgin coconut oil with some sort of butter that I can't pronounce. Actually, there's there's three types of butter, tons of oil, like literally that's just a solid sort of oil block. It is so, so squidgy, you can just squidge it. The reason I got this is because it just looked so useful. You have dry skin, you have dry lips, anything like that, you can just grab a little tiny bit, just throw it on your lips. I'd recommend maybe keeping this in the fridge though. Because again, it's like a butter and it just sort of, it's, it's melting right now in my hand. So I think I'm going to go put that in the fridge in a minute. This one is called Rub Rub Rub. And it's not the Rub 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 you might be thinking of. Instead of being a little black pot with like, you know, the stuff that you scoop out and slap on your body. Nah, -uh. this Rub 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 is now a solid block. It's got what looks like these little tiny like cherry blossoms in as well. It smells the same but it's just compressed into a block so you can actually proper rub it on yourself now without it just dripping out of your hand and down the shower. I'm really looking forward to this because I always found the Rub 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 Shower Scrub was absolutely fantastic. It always leaves your skin really, really moisturised and I'm hoping that this is exactly the same. This is what Jungle now looks like. It says hair conditioner on it. Um, smells exactly the same, maybe slightly weaker. In fact, I have, a, I have an old one over there. So this is the old one and this is the new one. So I think think you might be losing a little bit but this is obviously wider so it might turn out to be the same they weigh about the same so I might be wrong we also got one called the sugar daddy o and big um, big shampoo is like really salty and gives your hair lots and lots of volume so I assume the big conditioner is just supposed to accompany it just like the big shampoo it is white in color so it also says hair conditioner on it it smells kind of vanilla -y. it's like a really kind of weak kind of slightly milky kind of scent. It's weird, but it smells good. Now this Sugar daddy -o, I assume is supposed to accompany the daddy -o, uh shampoo, which is for blonde haired people. Um, it takes out the brassy tones. It's bright, bright purple. So I assume that is obviously gonna help keep out the brassy tones. Smells exactly like daddy -o. Um, I love the smell of daddy -o shampoo and brunettes can use it too. Um, it just helps blondes. This is the hot oil treatment that I chose. This is called Tangled and it smells absolutely Gorgeous. Again, it's going to be the same as the other one. Put it in a beaker of hot water and just sort of let it turn into this creamy, oily stuff. Um, this one has orange flower absolute, which would explain exactly why I liked it. I couldn't pinpoint what it was, but it does smell like oranges. It smells absolutely lovely. Again, I'm going to let you guys know what these are actually like, um, so you know if they're worth buying. Just two more things before we move on to all of the bath products. Um, so this is the Smell of Freedom perfume. This is a mixture of three different perfumes that were created um, via someone who worked at Lush. I can't remember the names of all of them, but they were all lovely individually as well, and then put together. This is just absolutely fantastic. When it's put on my skin, like, it smells different to how it smelled, like, out of the jar, but it smells absolutely wonderful, and I don't want to put it over the horrible Uptown Funk that I already put on. It smells like jasmine. You can smell a lot of jasmine. It just gets better over time as it stays on your skin. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna smell my wrist. And then I also got another perfume called Super World Unknown, and I'd never seen this before. I think this is a new one. And it's wonderful. I mean, everything is wonderful. Why do I keep saying wonderful? This has distilled lime, neroli oil, lemon oil. So it's kind of citrusy, but it's also got sandalwood oil, rose absolute. So it's going to have like a couple of layers to it. I'm just going to spray it on my knee. <laughs> oh, it's not a spray. I forgot it's not a spray. And it's gone all over my legs. It genuinely does smell of limes and neroli oil. So, um... What they tell you is what you get. Oh yes, and I got some Whoosh Temple Balm. They usually only sell this uh, at the Lush Spas. Um, it smells like the Whoosh Shower Jelly, which is like lemons and limes. And really, really nice citrus smells. And you're supposed to just grab a little bit, rub it in your temples, and then it sort of gets into your senses and just feels really, really good. So I can't wait to use that. It's gonna be lovely. Okay, moving on to the bath stuff. At last, we're on to the bath stuff. Thank you for sticking around if you have. First off, I'm not really usually a big fan of the fun bars that they have, um, but now I am. They now do things like mermaid fun, where they give you three different colors and you get to mold it into a mermaid and then use it. Um, I think this is inspired by the fact they did the snowman fun at Christmas. Um, they sent out little packs where people could uh, make snowmen out of the fun and then send in photos and stuff. 
Uh, anyway, this is the speedboat fun where you can make a speedboat out of it. They had other ones like this Alien and Monsters one which you can see in the vlog that I posted. Um, and uh, I also picked up this which is the Purple Fun. I'd never seen Purple Fun. Please let me know if there is actually Purple Fun and I just missed it. But I'd never seen Purple Fun. It smells very fruity. Very nice. They do obviously all have different smells but I am not getting that stuff all over my bed to find out. This is called the Flowering Tea Bubble Bar. Um, it actually has like a different name on the product. I think they did like a last minute name change. This was originally going to be called Bath Dunk. <laughs> it looks like a tea bag, which is just ridiculous. I love it. I assume you're supposed to like hold this over the bath like that and then let the running water. I don't know, but it's lovely. It smells exactly like the floating flower um, bath bomb, bath ballistic, whatever you want to call it, uh, that they did at Valentine's Day. Very strong jasmine in there. I just love the design of it and the fact you probably just, you know dunk it into the bath and get a few bubbles out of it. I love that. I think I prefer the name bath dunk to flowering tea though. Bath dunk just sounds better. <laughs> I might get a band and call us bath dunk. Okay, so in this bag is the milky bath bubble bar. I bought two of these because they look so cute. I wanted to give one to my dad. This is what they look like. They're both the same, obviously. Um, it's like a little tiny milk bottle. Look at that. It's got loads and loads of silver luster on it. And it smells really milky, so... I mean, surprise, surprise. It's filled with uplifting orange oil and skimmed milk. That's interesting that they would choose to put cow's milk in a bath thing. The cocoa butter lid adds extra softness, so that's going to have cocoa butter in it. Yes, that is softer, actually. Oh, oh, glitter everywhere. So this is the little dragon bubble bar that I told you guys about at the beginning. Um, it looks so cute. It's like one of those Chinese sort of paper dragons that you pull apart. It's two little sticks, and it does that. Oh, turn it that way. There you go. So it's a little... Chinese dragon. Apparently it smells of cinnamon and ginger. Um, I can definitely smell the ginger now they've said that, but I wouldn't have been able to put my, you know, I wouldn't have been able to put a name on it. Um, it's not a fruity smell. It's one of those that's going to awaken your senses. Awaken your senses. That's how I just, everything that goes weird up your nose, awakens your senses to me. So, I'd be good at advertising, alright? Leave me alone. Now this one is one of my favourites that I saw in the store. It's one of my favourite buyers of the whole thing. This is called Cherry Blossom. It smells exactly like Cherry Bakewell's. Oh my god. Pop your bath time cherry. Well, hey. Just know that it smells really nice and you should definitely smell this if you go into the Oxford Street store. If you know what cherry baker smells like, you'll know what that smells like. This one is the pink flamingo bubble bar. Oh my goodness, I didn't realise how neon pink it was. Wow. Slip into something more fruity with this cocktail inspired reusable bubble bar filled with fragrant rosewood and ylang ylang. It smells really fruity. It smells like tropical. It smells like pineapple for some reason. I smell pineapple in it. Probably doesn't have any pineapple in it. Maybe it's mango. Something like that. Um, I would assume this does two baths. Like, I'd say like that. Like, his head would probably be one bath and then that would be another bath. You don't, basically, you dunk it in the water, swirl it round, get lots of bubbles. Just like the magic wand they do at Christmas, only it's a flamingo and it's not a wand. And the last bubble bar that I picked up, I think a lot of people will be happy with because this is a very classic lush scent that a lot of people love. I am not personally a big fan of it. This is the Karma Bubble Bar. Smells precisely 100% like all of the other Karma scents they do. Not a massive fan of it. I smell like some sort of like fruity notes, but then I smell this sort of really heavy perfume. I don't know, but I know a lot of people love it. I can only assume that's gonna turn the bar off this lovely dark purple color. Now before we move on to the one product that everyone loves from Lush, um, I got these which are bubble runes. Now, they haven't come out of any new bubble runes, per se, but they have basically reworked all of their existing bubble runes. So, if you've seen what the green bubble rune used to look like, remember that in your head, and now look at this bad boy. Look how gorgeous he is. You can't properly see on this camera, but it is basically a really, really lime green colour. It's really neon. It's got like a nice layer of the sort of creamy oils inside, and then this is just... It looks exactly like a sort of macaroon thing now. I don't know if you get more or less. It, I would assume you get more because it's wider um, and also this one is a lot deeper and I don't know. I really don't know. This is the Yuzu and Coco one which I assume is going to smell exactly the same as the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. But look at it now. Oh yes. Isn't it gorgeous? Seeing as this is broken off, I'll show you what it looks like inside. It's just like a nice sort of cream and uh, oof, it looks so much better. Um, they're, such, they're such brighter colours rather than just being really washed out. It smells absolutely incredible. It smells like dolly mixtures. That's what this is. I'm going to put that down before I eat it. Now then, let's move on to the bath bombs. I was told in store that this one crumbled. Um, so I can't show you what it did properly look like. I'm going to try and fix it. Excuse like the sort of crumbling. This is what it's supposed to look like. 
I show you? Kind of? Yeah? You getting the idea? Yeah? No? Hmm. Tunisian neroli and exotic jasmine fragrance. Um, it does smell very flowery, but it's not as pungent as the floating flower from Valentine's Day. It's actually got this really sort of sweet note to it at the end so it doesn't overpower you with jasmine. You can only assume that's the neroli oil, um, but it's really nice. I reckon that probably turns your bath a nice lilac colour as well. Um, like maybe like the twilight bath bomb. That's a really nice sensual kind of, if you want to relax, that is a smell I can imagine would be really good. This one is called cyanide pill, which I think is like, whoa, chill out Lush. Watch as a volatile slick of mercury silver breaks loose. That sounds scary more than relaxing. Looks like a little Dr. Mario pill. Boop, boop, boop. People under the age of like 30 won't get that. It doesn't smell good. I don't like the smell of it. It's really sort of woody. It's just, I don't know. It smells really old, like 70s sort of cigarette in a gross diner sort of, I don't know. But I'm excited to see what silver comes out of this. Okay, so in here are two that I think you guys are gonna really, really love. First off, this one. This is called Frozen. Um, I wonder what it was inspired by. I don't really like the smell of it. Uplifting grapefruit and Tunisian neroli. Um, I don't smell great. <coughs> wow, dust went up my nose. It smells of like really pungent kind of flowers and it's really, again, it's like a sort of woody, sort of really old kind of musty smell. It might be really, really nice when you drop it in the bath and then like the smells go all the way around the room, but when you smell it up close, it's really, really strong. You could probably actually because that's so strong, you could probably crumble that in two and get two baths out of it if you really wanted to. Uh, speaking of like big bath bombs, this beauty is called the Intergalactic. And it, this is apparently inspired um, by the smell of one of the people from Guardians of the Galaxy, which I've never watched. Um, I don't know how they know what he smells like because it's a film. It looks absolutely gorgeous. You just know that it's going to turn your bath a beautiful sort of space colour. Space colour? Space is black. Huh. Okay, so next up we have the Yoga Bomb and the Golden Slumbers Bath Bomb. Now, Golden Slumbers, I believe this used to be a Lush Kitchen exclusive and then they sold it at the Lush Spas, I think. I might be wrong. Um, but if they're going to start selling this at Lush Oxford Street, then everyone can access it. And it's, oh, it smells like pepper, it's like bergamot, I think. Maybe I'm just talking out my butt. Look at the colour of it. That is going to turn your bath a beautiful gold. This one is called the Yoga Bomb. Now, I was really intrigued by this. It's got these weird sort of like um, oily sort of buttery spots on it. Woody Oliverum and Howwood. Perfect for me. It smells really good though. It smells like grapefruit. I smell grapefruit in this. I don't know what colour it's going to turn the bath though. Because I mean, orange and blue, but whatever. It smells really good. It smells very orangey and grapefruity and citrusy. Um, so I guess that one's going to really wake you up. That one smells lovely. I don't know what this is, it's just pure orange. That smells incredible. It's really kind of, it's weak, but it's welcoming. It's not fruity, but it is sweet. It smells like perfume. It's got a lot of oils in it. You can tell it's got oils, but it's also got this sort of it's a really nice sweet note. It's not oranges. What is it? This one is called Guardian of the Forest, and it's green and light green. Your bath will be transformed into a mystical oak moss and cypress forest lagoon, packed full of rosewood oil from a Peruvian forest. It smells like when you've gone into a forest and you've had like the dew on the leaves, and you get that, that sort of like when the dew evaporates in the morning, you get that nice smell. It's clearly, I'm one of those people that gets up at 6 a.m. and goes to a forest to watch water evaporate off the leaves, but you know what I'm saying. It's very nature inspired, that's lovely. I bet that looks gorgeous in the bath. This is the bath bomb called the Experimenter. I reckon that's gonna look incredible, but it's such a weird shape and stuff. I don't reckon they'll keep this around for too long. I don't, I don't know, it hasn't got that sort of it doesn't look like a Lush product to me, it just looks like a really weird diamond. It has absolutely no description on it, it just says the experimenter. I think they're all like different scents, but it's, that white one is the one thing that I really, really don't like. The one that really gets up your nose. It smells actually like a couple of their perfumes, the perfumes that I don't like. Um, they smell really musky and really sort of woody and mm, not a fan, which is a shame. I bet that looks lovely in the bath, but... Combined with the design and just the smells, I'm not sold. I don't really like it. Now lastly, we have one last bag, but it's full of small things. And hopefully this bag will explain why my receipt was so long. Everything in here was two pound. And obviously I had the 50% off. So all of these things were a pound to me. And there's like 20 of them. So that would be why my receipt was kind of, yeah. I'm never showing that again. So this one is called Happy Thoughts. And it looks like this. That's salt on there. Oh my god. 
Ooh, don't eat happy thoughts, you won't have happy thoughts. Don't get me wrong, it smells absolutely lovely. All of these are called bath oils, you drop them in and they melt. They're like the bath melts, basically. They melt in your hand as you... Oh wow, they're melting in my hand. It's got a hint of orange, hint of lemon, hint of grapefruit. Kind of like a really sort of nice citrus undertone. And then a couple of like oily things. And then sea salt all around it, and I don't know why. Why would you do that? Why? This one is called Sun. I would assume this smells like the Sun perfume which is very orange scented. This one is melting right in my hand. This is full of gold luster. That doesn't smell like the sun perfume. I don't know what that smells of, but it's not It's not orangey. I don't know, because all it says on it is sun. Not really a fan of it, and luster everywhere. Ah. This one's called the Delight Bath Oil. Um, this one has, apparent, oh, apparently it smells of tantalizing marzipan. This one is coated in silver luster. It smells exactly like marzipan. I don't know if I would have got that if I didn't have the label. That's the problem. Like, you see the label, you're like, oh, must smell of marzipan, then you obviously you connect it in your head but it's lovely it's like a little tiny moon this one's called the floating island bath oil now i know they do the floating island bath melt which i've never tried i think this is also modeled on the design of it i don't know if they'll end up dropping the bath melts of bath oils because look exactly the same design exactly the same smell it smells of like white chocolate if i do lemon and sandalwood wash over your senses no it smells like white chocolate. It smells like Milky Bar. It does not taste like Milky Bar. And to further kind of confirm that I reckon they're going to end up phasing out bath melts for bath oils, this is the Melting Marshmallow Moment, which they've done in a bath melt for so, so long. Now it looks like this. It smells of Snow Fairy. If you know what Snow Fairy is, it's like this really sweet pear drop kind of smell they do at Christmas and everyone loves it. it smells exactly like that. It smells really, really good. I think I prefer that smell. Like, there's like a slight difference between this and the Melting Marshmallow Moment um, bath melt. This one smells a lot more like Snow Fairy, if that's even possible. This one is called Dreamtime Bath Oil. I think this is the one with the little Z printed on it. Um, sheer butter um, and chamomile. This is going to be really good if you have trouble relaxing. Take, Put this in your bath before you go to bed and you will be out like a light. Chamomile and lavender are the two best things you can have when you want to go to sleep. So it looks like this. It's a little purple block. Z for Zoella or whatever. It smells like lavender. It smells like lavender and chamomile. Which is like my favourite drink in the world. So... That's perfect. I'm going to top up on those because that is lovely. This one is called Shark Infested Custard. Now, this one was recommended to me by, like, every single Lush employee I asked while I was in the store. Um, it's the weirdest little thing. Hold this vanilla scented melt by melon paper fin and dive it into the bath waters. Nourishing butters will release and nourish the skin. Still smells a bit like white chocolate to me. Everything smells like white chocolate. Maybe I'm just craving white chocolate. You can hold it by that. I broke his fin. No, no, go back on. <sighs> Good. This one is called uh, Ginger. Um, which I'm now going to call Luke. Pop this sunny, glittery melt, packed full of cocoa and sheer butters in the water and watch it dance. This one's got like a really sort of weird bronze luster on it, so it's not the same as the, um, the golden, what do you want to call it, sun thing. But to me, it doesn't smell like ginger. It smells like chocolate orange. It smells exactly like chocolate orange. It really does, I just got it on my nose. That really does smell like chocolate orange to me. I'm going to put that back. Because again, my poor hands. This one's called the You've Been Mangoed Bath Oil, and I know that they do um, a bath melt with this. Instead of being uh, what you'd expect, it now looks like this. Um, looks a bit like a sort of weird Easter egg. It smells like the You've Been Mangoed Bath Melt. It smells just like mango. It's really nice. With avocado and mango butter. So I assume it's now got avocado butter where it didn't have before. This is the Lime Pastel Bath Oil, which obviously I had like a little freebie bag of it in the, the, the press thing. It's very light, leave me alone. It smells like lemon and lime with coconut oil in it, so it's going to smell like a tropical island. They look like this, they got like a sort of green silvery luster on them. Smell like lemon and lime. That was, you could see that coming a mile away, couldn't you? This one is the I am a radiant being bath oil. I mean, there's nothing like self-confidence, right? Floral geranium, rose and lemon oils in shades of evening pink. It's actually dyed the bag pink, so don't get this in your hair. Actually, what they say with these bath oils, especially with the bath melts, um, if you're going to have a bath with bath melts, um, don't wash your hair in the bath because it makes your hair really greasy. And I'm wondering if these, like the bright colours of these, especially this one, I reckon they'll probably end up staining hair. So I would just recommend not washing your hair in the bath, just keeping all of this dry if you're going to use one of these. I just smell, I smell after eights. It smells like after eights. I mean, it's nice if you like mint, but... I'm not really a fan of it. I don't know why it smells of mint. And this one is apparently called the Happy Thoughts Bath Oil. Um, but there's two in here. And I already had one called Happy Thoughts. But is it like a little apple? It's got a little stalk on it. And it smells exactly of apple. So I can't tell you the name of this. Um, it's not going to be Happy Thoughts. But this smells exactly just pure apple. I can't smell any other oils in there. It's just apple to me. 
a bit like so white shower gel although that's got more like vanilla and oils in it that just smells like apple it's, it's like you're just putting an apple in the bath this is the monsieur gustave bath oil lavender oil rose and tobacco what am i about to stick in my nose it's got lots of purple luster you can smell lavender a lot of lavender i can't smell tobacco it's like twilight it smells exactly like Twilight, actually. That's really, really nice. I think because lavender is such a strong, overpowering scent, like, anything with lavender in it is just going to smell like Twilight to me. And the last product of this entire haul is the Orange Blossom Bath Oil. I wonder what this one is going to smell of, huh? Who knows? Orange luster. Smells of... I want to say oranges, but it's actually, genuinely... It doesn't smell that orangey. It smells kind of citrusy. I wouldn't say orange. Which is a shame, because you guys know I love my orange and my banana. Banana, 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 banana. So that is everything, I think. Now that my bedding is covered in glitter, and I think I've exhausted everything, thank you so much for watching. I won't keep you guys any longer, because obviously this is a very long video. Let me know the products that you like the looks of, um, and what you'd like me to sort of do a demo of, if I can. Um, and I will see you guys another time. Thanks again so much for sticking around, and please subscribe if you haven't already. The button's down there somewhere, or there, or I don't know what YouTube's doing. So... Thank you so much. Catch you later. I'm going to go to bed.